I'm Dr. Kedzot Zetop Bunder. Uh, my daughter is studying in the Regional Institute of Medical Sciences. As a parents, uh, for the last few days, we have been worried and concerned for our children, especially who are uh, studying in the NFAL. And also, we are also concerned about the, our people who have been stranded because of the uh, unprecedented uh, situation that has uh, arisen. Other parents have contacted other departments like police and also contacted the, the cells, the numbers that have been given for in case of any problems. That, that so many calls have been given and initially we were also uh, a bit uh, disappointed because on calls have not been responded many a times and especially the students from the Manipur they have tried to contact the department but uh, they were unable to contact but uh, somehow through uh, later on a contact has been made and we are very happy be that the state government, especially our chief minister and also our deputy chief minister, they have uh, taken up the matter seriously. We are happy that uh, our Naga students are coming and uh, our department, we are here because most of them are from the uh, medical college, RIMS. So we are told that about 150, 60 of the students as well as uh, PG students and plus some of the technicians, nurses, they are coming. So my department, uh, you know, we have decided to come and receive them actually. So my principal director is here and uh, uh, some senior officers are here to receive them. Our staff are working 24-7, they are keeping contact with those who are stranded there. So, till now, we are happy that uh, by court rise, none of our people had any uh, problems. And whatever in our capacity, we leave them today. And moreover, our honorable CM is constantly keeping in touch with his counterpart. So, people are dealing this and that, but we are doing our best and we hope that the situation will become uh, normal within uh, this so that our people will be safe. The Angami Youth Organization and then the Angami Students Union, we in fact are not the competent authority to be con uh, commenting anything on this. We, were, we are just uh, an organization under the Angami Public Organization. Uh, we got some calls from the students and then the Assam Rifles on the 5th of March and then they have requested us if we can assist the uh, in connecting them with the state, state helpline. Uh, we would like to say that the state government has also played their role as much as possible from their end uh, but with the distress, the amount of distress call that they got from the uh, our uh, citizens stranded out there in uh, Imphal, we cannot blame the, uh, the uh, government uh, also. Just uh, for instance like uh, the IU office beers, uh, the n number of phone calls that we got from the uh, our stranded citizens out there in Imphal, uh, it was also not possible for us to call back uh, all the numbers which uh, we had missed the call. Some, uh, we, uh, as much as possible, we tried calling them back and then we attended to their calls. And then somehow, uh, since we are not the competent authority, we just uh, uh, played the role of connecting them with the, uh, the, with the uh, state helpline uh, and then the, uh, uh, the Assam Rifles. Here, I would like to make a special mention of uh, some few persons who have really uh, played a very vital role. That is our SDO Civil Jakama, uh, Mr. Uh, Wepu, and then uh, our uh, SDPO North, uh, Mr. Sheta. They have been there in Senapati 
uh, from the starting itself and then they have been connecting with all the uh, transport the armed forces and then this thing and then uh, through them i think uh, most of it has been done uh, people behind the uh, behind the scene like the state helpline uh, the officers and then the staff concerned i think they have also played a very important role but in the ground zero i think uh, our sdo civil jakama and then the sdpo north has played the most major part uh, which we should all uh, appreciate them not forgetting the assam rifles uh, the assam rifles uh, as of what we have learned they were only uh, called yesterday uh, in the morning otherwise our armed forces and uh, our armed forces that is the nagaland police and the irb uh, both from the mahila as well as uh, from the uh, irb they have already reached uh, uh, senapati in the morning they started i was told they, uh, they started four in the morning but they could not go because of not getting security clearance from Manipur. And then as per our uh, communication with the uh, Pumai Students Union, the Mao Students Union, and then the Maram Students Union, we were being told that since there is no law and order in Manipur at present, even the uh, security provided by the state government in the form of Nagaland Police or IRB may not be very helpful. That is what we were being told. So we were uh, advised to connect with the Assam Rifles and accordingly some of us, uh, uh, I would like to make special mention of the uh, President and his colleagues of the Angami Public Organization who could reach out to the uh, uh, Honorable Chief Minister as well as to the uh, Chief Secretary and then the uh, DGP's office. And then somehow they have uh, connected with the Assam Rifles. From my end, we are thankful to the first Assam Rifles and then they have responded very positively while uh, requesting them to assist in escorting the uh, stranded students. Uh, special mention to be made to the Naga People's Organization in Senapati, uh, as well as uh, the Pumai Students' Union. This morning, the uh, Mao Union Senapati, they have hosted uh, tea and snacks for our uh, while our uh, stranded uh, citizens were returning. And also, uh, the Mao Students' Union, they have uh, provided tea and snacks at Tadubi. The Southern Angami Students' Union, we are very thankful to them. Th this morning, since 6.30, they have been preparing some light tea and then some uh, snacks for the uh, returnees. Uh, None of us are doing it for publicity sake, but it is just on humanitarian ground. So uh, the, credit, the credit of this successfully uh, returning back our stranded citizens does not go to anyone. I think this is a shared responsibility and then we all did it on, on humanitarian part. Assam Rifle played the role, the, chief, uh, the administration, the police, the organization, the civil societies have all played the role. So I think uh, this is an achievement as a whole. For the last two to three days, we've been keep, uh, kept in the you know, suspense with all these dramas and this and that, and all rumors sometimes. I sometimes used to call my missus not to spread this and that because of the rumors until unless we get some actual news of, from the distant and that. So like that, for the last two days, we've been struggling. And of course, sometimes I feel bad also. I've been, you know, I conveyed some messages to some of my friends in CMO's office also that why all this delayed and this thing and all. But somehow, I, now I have to thank our government and all these uh, paramedics and this team and all the departments in all bringing my, our children and our people back to our homeland. Yeah. Um, my daughter, she's a doctor there. She's working as a residency. And for the last few months, now after this thing happens, we were in suspense, thought she'll come back or she has to because leaving the job and coming back will be a problem for all the department there also. And this, she works in the pediatrics department. Now, like that, and I'm really thankful to our, you know, our Angami Youth Organization, Angami Students Organization also, because of their this, uh, sacrifices for bringing back our children, our people back to Kohima.